Good morning, guys. It's Lori. Today's the day. Today is VLCD 50. That means, for one thing, I made it to day 50 without cheating or anything. So, proud of myself there. Head on the back for me. <laughs> and it's my LIW. If you're an HCG person, you probably know the lingo. If not, LIW means last injection weight. This is the weight, today is the weigh in where this weight, I need to stay within two pounds below or two pounds above this weight for the next 21 days. 21 days is phase three, which is basically like an Atkins induction. That's what, um, basically if you follow Atkins induction foods, then you're gonna be golden during phase three of this protocol. I don't necessarily like read the book or get it out, and check it out and see what I'm allowed to have. I've done it enough times that I just kind of know. That's not to say I might not have a little something that I'm not supposed to, like, I don't know. Not a cheat thing, just, I don't know, a low carb tortilla shell or something like that. But anyways, when Atkins made his thing, was there such a thing as a low carb tortilla shell? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to justify it right now. But anyways, yes. Guys, let me give you a meteorologist report real quick first. It is 34 degrees outside and it is now starting to rain. It's starting to rain right now. That's what the weatherman said was supposed to happen right about this time, sometime between 9 and 10 a.m. according to the hourly forecast and it's happening. So I suppose that means that the rest of the day of his predictions is going to be right too. I was kind of hoping he'd be totally wrong because sometime within the next four to six hours this is all going to turn to snow that's about the time I'm going to be heading home from all my running arounds that I have to do tonight this is supposed to first mix with snow at some point throughout the day and turn to all snow so we're supposed to get two to five inches <sighs> the old s word I wasn't ready to start saying that yet Normally, I'm going to Costco later, and normally I do take the highway home because it's like the highway's like right there. It's so easy just to get on the highway from Costco, but I don't like taking the highway or the freeway or the interstate or whatever you want to call it when it's nasty and slippery outside because people are stupid. They act like they've never driven on bad roads before, you know, and I just, I get too anxious, so anxiety sets in. <laughs> So I'm probably gonna take the back roads if it's nasty out. All right, that's enough of that. That's not what you came here for, is it? You probably would prefer to know what I had to eat yesterday. Didn't take a clip of it. You guys already know what I had to eat yesterday, right? I had steakums. I had crispy steakums yesterday. That's all I had yesterday. So let's go ahead with the way in right here. Put it up right here. That is my LIW, or last injection weight. That doesn't look like the 130s to me, but I'll take it. I can't remember exactly what the weight was, 141.6, I think. But anyway, it is down 0.6 from yesterday. So I've been on a losing streak for the last several days. So I am definitely grateful for that. And I still have my transition days. After today, I have to stay on the low calorie days for 72 hours. So, 72 hours from now is when my next phase, phase three, will start. That's when I'll be upping my calories. For me, I up my calories to about 1,200 a day. I don't always keep good track of them, but I'm telling myself I'm going to use my fitness pal, but I'm probably not. I hate tracking. I hate it with a passion. But at the same time, I'm really, really committed to this. So, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, um, hair in my eye. Probably shouldn't even bother with straightening my hair. This is yesterday's hair though. This is, I straightened this yesterday in the afternoon. That was silly because I already knew the forecast. <laughs> God only knows what it's gonna look like later. Oh well, such is life. Hey, I am 
on my way to a job right now. I'll be there in just a couple minutes, actually, so I have to hurry up. But after my job, I've got a bunch of running around to do. Like, I have my note over here. I'm going to stop at Aldi. I don't know. I wanted to stop at the Dollar Tree because I'm going to be in the area of a Dollar Tree that I'm not normally around today. So I wanted to stop there. Then I'm going to head to Costco. And after I left Costco, my plan was to go to the Dollar Tree that's near the Costco which I don't get to, but maybe once or twice a month. So, yeah, I want to do all those things, but it just depends on the weather. We'll see if Mother Nature wants me to do those things or not. Am I recording? Oh, man. I didn't think my, my uh, thing was going. My numbers. Anyways, yes. Oh, goodness, what was I saying? Yeah, so anyways, I'm, regardless of what else I do, I'm going to at least head to Costco later. And I probably am going to head to Aldi too because there are some things I really, really want to pick up. Because I need some uh, foods for my phase three, for my low carb keto-ish phase. And then even after that phase, I'm still going to stay lower carb. So my intention is I'm going to do these grocery hauls. I'm probably going to do Costco today. I don't know if I'll put the Aldi in with it because it's going to be massive. They're both going to be massive, so I don't know. I might separate those. You might see these a little bit throughout the week. You might see grocery hauls for me, but they all happen today and tomorrow. I also have a Walmart tomorrow that I'm doing. So, that being said, my plan is to gather up all of my P3, Phase 3 foods and staples that I have on hand, things that I really, really like to have on hand and things that I've purchased this time that I haven't ever purchased before because I didn't know of them. There's a lot of new recipes that I've found. I've been binge watching Keto Ginja. Gosh, you guys, have you watched her channel? She's, first of all, she and her family are freaking awesome. And second, the food they make is amazing, easy, budget friendly. Love it. It's like, why have I never been to her channel before? I can't believe it. Like one day last week, I think it was Friday actually, Thursday or Friday, I went to her channel and subscribed and it's like, what was I waiting on all this time? I don't know. I've heard her name here and there before, but it's like, I just never went to her channel. Don't know why. If you never have, I suggest you do because she's fantastic. You know, even if you're not like a keto person, you'd probably enjoy her anyways. There's a good chance that you would. She's, she's awesome. So anyway, yeah, um, I got in here some recipes from her channel, like lots of them. I've got some recipes from a website that was given to me by a commenter named Nicole Hart. Um, I don't know how you say that website. Genaw? G-E-N-A-W dot com. I got a few recipes of that. Thanks, Nicole. And uh, Bonsai Keto, the Southern Keto Cookbook, and I don't remember whose YouTube channel I heard about that thing on, but it was somebody. I don't know. It might have been Aaron does the keto. I don't know. I don't know, but there's other channels that I'm getting recipes from too. I just, yeah, I'm just rambling a lot right now and I have a Costco haul to do. So I need to be quiet so that I have time to do that without having to edit the crap out of this video. Okay. And right up the road here, I'm going to be at my job. So yeah, let me just stop there. Okay guys, I am leaving my job on my way. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop at Aldi still raining yeah 32 degrees now Ugh. okay oh yeah that was a little bit of slushy stuff on my windshield <laughs> all right just I'm just gonna be careful pay attention to what I'm doing and I'm also going to separate my hauls from this video this is just gonna be my update video I'm gonna go ahead and separate my Costco haul my Aldi haul my Walmart haul for tomorrow everything's gonna be in a separate video so that way, if anybody just tuned into this video just to see my update for my HTG round, they don't have to um, see that it's however long and not want to tune in. Anyway, also, also for the Costco haul, I don't want to have nine or ten minutes worth of babbling on about my protocol when somebody might have tuned in just to see a Costco haul. So anyways, I'm going to put the Costco haul up later this afternoon. So. Tune in if you'd like to see that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.